Notion just released their update 2.38, which brings some exciting new changes. These include a dedicated homepage, database property buttons, URL shortening, and more. In this video, we'll be going over each update to show you how to use it and our thoughts about it. If you find this video useful, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. One of the biggest new features that Notion just released is a dedicated home page where you can see recently visited pages, all tasks that are assigned to you and more. And this is particularly exciting because in Notion, it's been really difficult to combine multiple databases in one, pretty much impossible to do that. But in some ways, Notion has achieved this through their tasks, which are assigned to you. This is one way to see all of your databases in one space if it's a task that's assigned. We're really excited for this. We can't wait to try it out ourselves. This should be rolling out to people in the next couple weeks. We hope we can also do a deep dive into this later. So the next exciting feature that Notion has released is the database button properties. And we've talked about this already in one of our videos. So be sure to check out our deep dive on buttons, which we'll leave the link to in the description below. But basically you can add a button which automates something inside of a database entry. So for example, if we have a sample entry here and we click the start time, it's going to automatically set the start time for you. And you can then log an end time if you wish. And this has many use cases. You can even do an upvote system, a way to set something as complete by pressing a button and so on. And if you're interested in adding a button, all you have to do is click plus add a property and then look for button. And you can simply create a button like this as a database property. Another exciting feature for mobile users is that you can now use the notification as a space to reply to comments, which is very useful if you're on the go. So we highly recommend this as well. Another exciting feature is that you can now shorten URLs. So if you go to the URL property and you go to edit property, you can now have the option to toggle and toggle off show full URL. So as you can see, the shortened URL looks a lot cleaner like this, but you can still see the full thing when you click on it. Another exciting feature if you're looking to make your calendar look more streamlined is that you can now hide weekends. So if you click the three dots here and then go to layout, you can choose to show weekends or hide weekends. And so if you hide weekends, it looks more like this. So you have more space on the page. And this also works in week mode as well. So if we click here and choose layout to show by week, you can now see the weekdays. So some other new things that they've released is that you can now import from monday.com. Another small but very exciting feature is that you can toggle off database entry icons. So let's say that we have entry here and if we open this up it used to be that if you type something inside here you would see this mark saying a page icon and this look quite ugly if sometimes you write inside but sometimes you don't write inside the page so now you can actually click the three dots here go to layout and you can choose to hide page icon so as you can see, this is a much cleaner look and this has been something that people have been requesting for a long time. So we're really excited about this one. You can also now change the color of a button and this is another really cool feature. So we put a slash button and you want to change the color of the button. You can simply go to the six dots on the left hand side and choose color. And let's say, for example, we want a red button. If we're going to archive something, for example, and now we have a red colored button, you can also change the text color as well here. So this is very nice that you can do both text color and background color for buttons. Thank you so much for watching. Which of these updates are you most excited for? Which updates did you wish they had released instead? We'd love to hear from you and we hope to see you all in the next video.